In the previous video, I showed you how to use Paramico to configure a switch using SSH. Paramico is a Python implementation of the SSH version 2 protocol and provides both client and server functionality. Now, NetMico is a multi-vendor library that was developed to simplify Paramico SSH connections to network devices. This is one of multiple videos teaching you network programmability using Python and GNS3. You can find out more details about the software on GitHub. But in brief, it's once again a multi-vendor library that allows you to connect to network devices using SSH. It supports Python 2.7, 3.4, and 3.5. It supports a wide range of devices. Devices that are tested on a regular basis include Arista VEOS, Cisco ASA, Cisco IOS, IOS XE, IOS XR, Nexus OS, the Cisco SG300, HP Comware and Aruba, or Procurve software, Juniper and Linux. There's been limited testing on devices from Avaya, Brocade, Dell, and other vendors. There's also experimental testing with yet more devices. The idea, once again, is to simplify SSH connections in multi-vendor environments. Now, multiple devices are supported, and you can find the list by clicking on this link. As you can see, there's a wide range of devices that are supported using SSH. Now, the way you get started is you use from NetMeco import connect handler. Then you specify a name for your device, and you specify the device type. In this example, I'm gonna be using Cisco IOS. Here's a list of device types. We have Cisco IOS, Cisco XE, Cisco ASA, Nexus, and a long list of devices are listed here. But we're gonna start off with Cisco IOS. You then specify the IP address, username and password to connect to the device. You can specify a port number, default is port 22. You can specify a secret, default is not used. Verbose is turned off. You then connect to the device and you can execute commands such as show commands using the net connect send command option. For long running commands, you can use the send command expect, which waits for the trailing prompt or for an optional pattern. So as an example, you could use this for write memory. You can enter and exit enable mode. You can change options such as the config of devices. NetMeco will automatically enter configuration mode to make those changes when you specify send config. I'm gonna demonstrate this as always using GNS3. And here's an example of the code that I'm gonna run on an iOS V switch in the GNS3 network. So here's my Ubuntu client and my iOS V layer two switch. This is the same topology as I used for the previous video. In the previous video, I showed you the steps to install Paramico. The steps are very much the same. I've put them below this video. The one difference is we're gonna use pip install netmeco to install netmeco. I've already done that in this example. If you're installing this on a new device, here are the steps and I've linked them below. So either install Paramico or NetMeco or both. So in my example, I've got NetMeco installed on the Ubuntu client and I've got SSH pre-configured on the switch. If you wanna see how I set that up, please have a look at the previous video where I discuss Paramico. Okay, so here's the steps from NetMeco import connect handler. We're specifying a device called iOS V layer two. The device type is Cisco iOS. This is the IP address of the switch. 
Here's the username and the password to log in to the switch. You can support multiple devices by creating codes such as the following. I'll show you that later. We are then gonna to connect to the iOS V layer two switch. And I'm gonna send a command, show IP interface brief and print that output. This shows you an example of a privilege or enable command on a Cisco device. I'm then gonna send configuration commands. In this example, we'll create a loopback, loopback zero, and configure this IP address on the loopback zero interface. So we're gonna send config commands based on this config commands option over here, and then I'll print the output. I've also got a loop here, which I'll demonstrate once we've run this first piece of code. So let's start with this, and then I'll show you an example of creating VLANs on the switch. So back in GNS3, let's create a file called netmiko1. I'll paste the script into that file and then save it. And I can run Python netmiko1 before I run that. In the previous video, I created a loopback of loopback zero, so let's remove that. So no interface loopback zero. And then I'll remove some VLAN, so no VLAN 20, no VLAN 19, no VLAN 18 as an example. So show IP interface brief. There's no loopback zero, show VLAN. We have some VLANs configured, but there's no VLAN 19 and 20 on the switch. So Python netmiko. There's the output of the show IP interface brief. There's the configuration of the loopback interface. We can see a loopback interface came up and we can see the switch was configured via SSH. Show run pipe begin VTY or VTY rather. Notice only SSH is supported on the switch at the moment. So show IP interface brief. Loopback zero has been configured on the switch. So let's add this configuration to our script. It's basically a loop. And in this example, let's configure 25 VLANs. It's gonna print creating VLAN, and then it's gonna use these config commands, VLAN, and the number, which in this case would be two, three, up to 25. That's the first command that will be executed. And then we have a second command putting a description or name on the VLAN, and it's gonna send those config commands to the switch and then print out the output. So let's edit our script. I'll paste that extra configuration save the file, and then I'll run the script again. So there's the output of the show IP interface brief command. There's the loopback configured. You can see it's saying creating VLAN two. There's the output of that command, creating VLAN three. And what you'll notice now is this will just cycle through the VLANs that need to be created. So what I'll do now is speed up the video so that you don't have to wait for every VLAN to be configured. But essentially it's SSHing to the switch and creating the relevant VLANs. So previously I deleted VLAN 19 and I deleted VLAN 20. So scrolling up, we didn't have VLAN 19 and 20 in the output here, but show VLAN brief now, shows us that VLAN 18 is there, so is VLAN 19, and so is VLAN 20. And there you go, the script is completed. It's created 25 VLANs on the switch. So here's the code once again from NetMiko, import connect handler, specify any enable commands and any config commands that you want configured through NetMiko. NetMiko makes it very simple to configure Cisco devices as well as devices from other vendors. Once again, there is a long list of vendor devices that are supported and tested. So there you go, SSH as requested, and in this example using NetMiko.
makes it very simple to configure networks using Python. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.